Hello and welcome to Emma Read Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit. But first, let's play r slash drunk or a kid. Inspired by How I Met Your Mother, I give you a real life scenario and you guess whether it was a drunk or a kid. This one was posted by r amen. Climbed a tree too high and fell out, resulting in an ER visit. But what do we think? Was this a drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. Now back to r slash ask reddit where k3na posted this. Besides eating cereal with water, what is the most outrageous eating sin you have ever witnessed? My wife dips Oreos in water like a psychopath. When I visited my aunt's family as a kid, she served a purple cow. Milk mixed with grape juice for breakfast. If you haven't tasted that, take my word for it. It's not a great concoction. Friend's mom used to eat soy sauce with ice cream. I work at a pub slash restaurant waiting tables. This couple walks in who I've never seen but are apparently regulars. The bartender sees them, shoots me a glance and goes to grab something from the kitchen. Before even taking their order, he's filled the crushed red pepper shaker and told me to take it over to them. The woman orders a small cup of French onion soup and proceeds to unscrew the cap of this shaker and dump the entirety of it onto her soup, an inch high off the top of her bowl. She's eating this spicy red pepper like cereal and didn't even ask for a drink refill. I used to work as a bartender. One day, a middle-aged man walked in and ordered a beer with milk. Me, excuse me? You want milk in the same glass as the beer? Customer, correct. So I poured in a beer and added milk in the same glass. It looked disgusting to me. I gave him the drink, he paid for it, happily drank his beer milk and left. I had a friend who went through a period where cake decorating was her hobby and she made some amazing looking cakes that all tasted horrible because of the bizarre flavour combinations. It was always a bit funny because people would compliment the look of them and then have to figure out how to throw their pieces away without being rude about it. The worst one was a Christmas cake with an immaculate looking fondant Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer and was an orange spice cake covered in mint icing. It was like brushing your teeth and rinsing with orange juice in cake form. When I was in grade school, I went over to this kid's house to play, then ended up staying for dinner. We had spaghetti, some vegetables, maybe salad and something else. His entire family would mix everything together before eating it. His dad seemed to be the ringleader and mastermind behind this scheme. I remember someone cheerfully saying, well, it all goes to the same place. And then the rest of them agreeing with this truism as if it were some serious folk wisdom. That's some serial killer shit right there. I used to be obsessed with A1. I would put it on everything possible because I loved it so much. One day, I put it on Jello. I no longer enjoy A1. My sister would make Ritz cracker sandwiches, except the thing that went between the two Ritz cracker buns was another Ritz cracker, except chewed up and spit out. It was disgusting. I wasn't going to tell the story, but here I am. As a kid, I would eat a whole bag of Doritos without swallowing, and then I'd spit out the pulverised chip dust and saliva mixture and, uh, and roll it into a ball with my hands and then let it harden a bit in my desk at school between first and second break and then eat it again during lunch when the outside was a bit crunchy again but the inside was still moist and the consistency of a chocolate truffle no joke that made me want to vomit a ketchup brownie my cousin this son of a bee when i was a server i had a customer dip her bread in a glass of coke she finished her whole bread basket in coke and asked for another basket and another refill of coke and went to town again for round two. She didn't give a crap how she looked and ate that shit like it was the best thing on earth. My mom puts peanut butter on cold pizza. It is the closest flavour to vomit that is not vomit. My wife dips PB&Js into SpaghettiOs. 
A watermelon and ketchup sandwich. I call it a sadwich because it makes me sad. This combination had further follow-up questions. Is the watermelon the bun or does this monstrosity desecrate bread too? Someone absolutely disgusted by this just says, stay right where you are, the police are on their way. About to live the rest of his life as a convicted melon. Once the cops catch up to him. Once he's in prison, he'll regret his actions. Hindsight is always 2020. Mom's boyfriend crushed cheese it crackers into his coffee. That day he ate waffles covered in spinach and fish sticks drizzled with syrup. All the while loudly smacking his lips saying, Oh, so good. Mom says, don't let it bother me. It bothers me. Dude in my dining hall had a plate of sunny side up eggs. Scooped under an egg with his fork, brought it up to his mouth and only touched his lips to the yolk. Proceeded to suck all the yolk and then slurp the rest of the egg in. It was like a car crash. I couldn't look away but I was horrified. I live with someone who lives to eat food sins. Do you really think water with cereal is bad? Boy, the thing I would consider the least of eating sins would be when she microwaved a fucking pickle with cheese on it, then dipped in fucking ice cream. I can't stand to sit in the kitchen when she's in there because of the shit she's made. If anyone is interested, I'll provide more horrid creations she made and ate, but all you really need to know is that fucking pickle. And of course, people were interested and wanted to know more. She pulled a slice of pizza out of the trash, put cough syrup on it and topped it off with a mouldy fucking grape. She soaked a slice of bread with grape soda, froze it, then ate it after it fell into cigarette ashes. A cosmic brownie dipped in fucking nacho cheese. She made a peanut butter and jam sandwich with American cheese, saltine crackers and grapes. She for some reason really likes old grapes. I know there's more, but I'm afraid people will think I'm making this shit up if I tell anything else worse. PM me your hooters asked this. Does your roommate happen to be 10 raccoons in a trench coat? Those folks are all going to food hell. What is the craziest food sin you've committed? Let me know in the comments. Now back to r slash drunk or a kid. So who was the person who fell from a tree? It was... <laughs> A drunk. This was me at 30, just a few months ago, making only the best of decisions. Did you guess right? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you have heard, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.